Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> so, in light of it being Pride Month and all that, you know, goodness that Pride Month is, I thought today <clears throat> I would bring you a video about equality and equality for everyone. Um, unlike my other videos where I insert pictures and, you know, get loud and obnoxious and generally just, you know, out there. You know, I'm not going to do that. I've made my pretty little background for you guys to enjoy. Not that it's complicated, it's just simple. You know, I'm not going to be inserting images. But I want to talk about quality. And, you know, all that stuff that comes with it. So, as everybody knows, it's Pride Month. Uh, there'll be various Pride celebrations happening all across the world. And... You know, it, it it brings to light the fact that there are some countries where it is still very much illegal <clears throat> to be gay. And, you know, my dog is snoring. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's still very much illegal in certain parts of the world for you to be gay. Um, you know, and, you know, things like being transgender... You know, stuff like that is still very much illegal all around the world. And it's sad because, you know, everybody deserves to be equal. You know, it shouldn't matter the colour of your skin. It shouldn't matter whether you're a man or a woman, uh, cisgendered. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, bi-gender, genderqueer, any of that sort of stuff. It really shouldn't matter. You know, we're all human beings. We're all on this planet. We're all trying to get along together. And we should all be equal i mean oh you know just just take a minute to think about this okay for for you know everyone 10 years time 20 years time 30 years time you've had a kid you know your kid is growing up in the world and they they come out as whatever they you know they come out as a specific gender or um sexual orientation and you fear for them because let's be real you know there are so many homophobic attacks on a yearly basis i mean there was one recently in the united kingdom i think it was in london two um lesbian women were on a bus and they got attacked because they refused to kiss on command or at least that's how I've been led to understand that went. And, you know, there have been other attacks, like uh, the club shooting in Florida. And, you know, people, people getting jumped and beaten just because they choose to love something that isn't what society regards as normal. Um, you know, when I was a teenager... Uh, I was, fr I had, I, I have had and still have many friends who are in the LGBT plus community. You know, not once have I ever, you know, questioned their lifestyle choices in regards to, you know, who they, who they date, who they don't date, who they choose to hang out with, what they choose to be. I have no problems with any of that. You know, at the end of the day, they're my friends first and foremost and I love them for them you know I don't love them because I want them to be something else I don't love them because I expect them to be something else you know it creates a rich diversity of different people and different belief systems and different just differences and you know if the world if everyone in the world was the same it would be really boring I mean think about it everybody's the same you know <laughs> Everybody is, just imagine it, everybody is straight. Every man dates a woman. Every woman dates a man. You know, there are no drag queens. There are no transgender people. There are no gay people on the world. in the world. Comedy, let's be real, comedy would fall horrifically. I mean, how many people can you count in the comedy circuit that are gay? Uh, how many you know, actors and actresses in general, can you sit there and say, you know, without 
you know, without them, it would it would still be okay. It wouldn't. I mean, you know, there's big icons like Christopher Biggins, um, Elton John, you know, people like that that have paved the way for, you know, great entertainment. And I'm not saying that that's what, you know, that's all gay people or, you know, LGBTQ people are good for. I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying is they add a depth and colour to life that, you know, makes it more enjoyable. And it's so sad to see people still being persecuted for it. I mean, like I was saying before, when I was a teenager, I had plenty of friends who were in the, you know, LGBTQ community. Um, You know, I was enlightened one summer when me and my friend accidentally stumbled across Gay Pride Festival. Like, we were, what, 14, 15? And we were uneducated on, you know, Gay Pride and all that sort of stuff. And we went out for the day to our usual hangout, you know, where we used to like to hang out. And we accidentally stumbled into the Gay Pride celebrations. We had no idea what was going on, but we were approached and we were welcomed. And we weren't made to feel bad for being there because we were straight. We weren't bad, made to feel bad for being there because we didn't understand, you know, that there was so many different sexualities, you know. We were sort of like, you know, we were welcomed in with open arms. We were given balloons and hugged and thanked for our support. And, you know, we were like, okay, great. So we learn and we talk to people and, you know, we had a fun day. You know, we got to experience that equality that, the LGBTQ plus community has and you know from that point forward it opened my eyes especially to what happens around the world so you know I firmly believe that there is there is nothing wrong with who you choose to love there is nothing wrong with who you choose to be you know there's nothing wrong with it and damn anyone who says otherwise you know be happy live your life as long as you're not you know doing something that's really stupidly illegal for your part of the world, then, you know, do it. I mean, okay, yeah, I say that, and there are places in the world where it's illegal to be gay, but fight for your cause. Do it properly. Do it sensibly. Do it calmly. Don't do it out with violence. Do it with compassion. Do it with empathy. Do it with, you know, emotions that aren't going to get you into trouble. I mean... I remember one time, a friend of mine, uh, we were, well, some friends of mine, we were hanging out after school one evening, and this group of lads approached us, and they were jeering, because a couple of the people in our group were known to be bisexual, which, you know, shouldn't have been an issue, but for these particular people, it was an issue, and they came and they acted as if they were interested, they acted as if they wanted to, you know know and you know be informed and you know they like one of my friends asked them for a cigarette which you know normal behavior you know you are oh have you got a cigarette you know and they they stood there and they said you can have this cigarette if you kiss your friend there and you know it was like what and it was like you can have this cigarette if you kiss your friend and being, I think we might have been about 15, they were like, sure, you know, it's no big deal. Pfft. I'm sure we'll be okay. And like, this friend of mine kissed this other male friend. And what proceeded to happen next wasn't exactly what we were expecting. You know, they got jeered at, they got laughed at, they got pushed. They got made fun of for their sexuality. And, you know... It's, it just makes me so cross that people just can't accept that love is love no matter where the boundary lies. I mean, there are so many people out there who are scared to come out and tell people, I'm gay, or, you know, I'm bisexual, or I'm pansexual, or I'm transgender, or, you know, I like to be a drag queen in my spare time. There are so many people that are scared of that, and it's like, no, no, you shouldn't have to be scared. You should be able to live your life the way you want to live it without pre- pre- prejudice or, you know, humiliation or fear of being attacked. I mean, I saw some posts recently on Facebook about people saying, you know, the worst part about pride is when you're on the tube on the way home and you see 
people that have been to Pride peeling off their stickers and wiping off their makeup and, you know, generally normalising themselves because they've got to walk through a neighbourhood where they know they're going to be attacked just for being gay. And, or just for being trans or bi or genderqueer, gender fluid. You know, these it, that is the worst part. That is so sad that these people feel they have to hide themselves away now. You know, pride's over. I can't be myself anymore. No, you can be yourself. You know, if, if your family don't support you, that's their loss. You know, they loved you with all their heart. Up until that moment, they found out that you weren't a straight person or that you weren't, you know, a cisgender. They... <sighs> They decided in that moment that the fact that you was that you were gay or different was, you know, how do I put it? They decided in that moment that it was wrong, that it was, you know, it's not allowed. But the thing is, you haven't changed. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. You haven't changed. You are the, still the same person you were 20 minutes ago. You was, You are still the same person you were before you told them, you know. Um, you, you didn't change, but they think you did. It's not like you just chose that moment to decide you were gay or that you decided you were transgender in that moment. You know, for a lot of people, that's an agonizing, I say agonizing, but in like the way of thinking of telling it, you know, they've agonized over this. You know, they've known for ages that there's something different about them. They've spent time exploring that. They've spent time deciding that, okay, yeah, I am 100% this and I need to tell the world because, you know, I want my family to support me. And in some cases that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. And it makes me so cross because, you know, there are parents out there that throw their 16 year old kids out because they don't accept their, their choices you know, for various things, not just, um, for being gay or trans or anything like that, but for other reasons too. I mean, there are some people that kick their kids out because they chose to get pregnant and it's like, out you pop on the end of my boot, you know, but still, you know, that I hear stories all the time of people that have been to pride and have given out free mum hugs or free dad hugs because there are so many kids in that go to pride that don't have a family to support them. You know, they live in a shelter or they live with friends, or, you know, some of them are homeless, because they just don't have anywhere to go, or anyone to turn to, and, oh, if I had, you know, enough pairs of arms, I would hug every single one of you poor people that have been abandoned by your families, you know, but it, I don't know, it's, you know, like I said, everyone should be able to be equal, no matter who you are, what you are, you know, what you choose to be, who you choose to be, but especially in Pride Month, and it make it, oh, sorry, I'm getting, <laughs> I get, I get a little bit like, about this when, like, you know, trying to explain how I feel about it, because, you know, I've had people genuinely ask me, why isn't there a straight Pride? And I've had to sit and explain to people why you don't need straight Pride, why you you know, you, it's not something that you need, not in the way that the LGBTQ community needs it. I mean, yeah, okay, I can kind of get why some people sit there and go, but we should have a straight pride, because there isn't an actual celebration of being straight, but, and there's a big but, not once has it been illegal to be a straight person. Not once has it been, have you been persecuted for being a straight person? Not once have you been told what to wear as a straight person in regards of you can't wear that because that's not for you. You know, unfortunately for gay people, it has been illegal to be gay. I think it was illegal in the United Kingdom to be gay right up until the 60s, I do believe. I I could be wrong. Please don't quote me. I don't have any information in front of me. I'm just trying to go by memory. But it was illegal to be gay. It was illegal to marry your gay partner um you know I do believe at one point if you were a man and you were gay you had to wear so many assigned items of clothing for your gender you know 
people are persecuted for being gay. You know, people have been killed. People have been arrested and put in prison. You know, the reason that pride exists is to show people that they are proud to be gay. They are proud to be LGBTQ+. They are proud to be where they are today and to think all the things they have accomplished over the years. You know, being, being able to be gay and it be legal to be able to be a drag queen and not end up in prison for cross-dressing to be you know to be themselves to be free and that's what pride is it's a celebration of equality and it's a celebration of how far they have come from being a persecuted people and i had to i had to tell somebody about this recently you know the reason why you don't necessarily need a straight pride because as a straight person you, you you've not been persecuted you've not been told that being you is illegal you haven't been hunted down and bullied and beaten for being straight you know those things haven't happened to you and you know yeah okay celebrate your straightness be proud that you are straight you know that's fine that is fine to say i am a proud straight person fine no one's got a problem with that but the whole idea of a straight pride festival when what what exactly you know what is it going to achieve really i mean you know i got the whole but uh there's a black history month there's a black pride month there's a gay pride month they want to teach gay history in schools or lgbtq history in schools and it's like okay so you know what what is your problem and the person was like but why can't we have white history why can't we have white pride and i sat there and i was like you know, I can, I, I can see what, why you're asking, but why does there need to be a white history month when pretty much 90% of history that is taught in schools is white history? I mean, especially in the United Kingdom, you learn about Henry VIII. He was a white man. You learn about World War One and Two, which was about a white man. And, you know, or, you know, many white people. Um, you know, there are many historical things that have happened that have been predominantly white. And the reason there's Black History Month is to educate people on history that, you know, that black people have done, the goodness that black people have done in history or people of colour, you know, have done for history. You know, people have done in the past to uh, discover certain medicines or, you know paved the way for equal rights you know that's why there's a black history month it's to educate people on the suffering that the people you know that people of color have been through that they you know they want to they want to share that history you know this is actually what happened and we have risen from that we have become stronger for it you know and yes there's a black pride month for exactly the same reason that there is a gay pride month because it is to show people that they have risen from their persecution and the way they have been treated and that you know they've come a long way from where they used to be you know people of color once upon a time uh rosa parks for example you know the whole black people weren't allowed to ride at the front of the bus and you know stuff like that <clears throat> you know there have been sorry for just coughing casually into the microphone um you know pioneers you know the pioneers of history that weren't white people have come forward and done things to pave the way and make it easier for their you know for the children and the people that come after them and yeah you know I, I could see why somebody may question that like well, why can't we have this and why can't we have that but why do you need it think about that i'm not telling you i'm not sitting here and i'm not saying you know oh white people shouldn't be proud of themselves and white people shouldn't celebrate their historical stuff you know i'm not saying that at all because i am a white woman <laughs> i mean you know that's the long and short of it but think about why these groups have their various pride months or 
they want to teach their histories. Think about it. And I know I'm probably going to get a lot of people that disagree with me on this video, but do you know what? I don't care. All I care about is getting equality for everybody. You know, promoting equality for everyone. I couldn't care whether you were a purple people eater. I would still make friends with you. I would still try my best to, you know, be a supportive person and to help you. You know, I couldn't care less about the colour of your skin. I couldn't care less whether you were... Whatever sexuality you define yourself as, I couldn't care. Not in the negative way of I don't care, but like I couldn't care. Because as far as I'm concerned, you're a person, you're a human being, and you deserve to be treated equally. It doesn't matter. None of that should matter when it comes to being equal. None of it. So before you decide to leave rotten comments below telling me how wrong I am or how bigoted I am or any of that nonsense, just sit and have a think about how you treat other people and you know do you I know I know a lot of people don't agree with anybody being anything other than a straight person I get that I, I'm sorry that you can't understand and I'm sorry that you can't be supportive and I'm sorry that you can't get behind it you know I'm sorry for you because you know <clears throat> like I said there is nothing wrong with being anything but yourself you know, I am here to support everyone, you know, I want this channel to become a place where people can come watch my videos and not have to worry about me being, you know, anti-gay or, you know, racist or any of that. I want people to be able to come watch my videos and know that I am, if for, <laughs> you know, I'm an ally, you know, I'm here for you guys, you know, I have a Twitter, you can follow me there, you can DM me if you need to talk to me or you want to talk to me <clears throat> sorry my dms are open i don't think i've got them closed but they're there you can tweet me you can leave me comments on my videos you know i'm not gonna judge anyone based on the color of their skin or the way they choose to live you know unless of course you know it's it's a very illegal thing like you know, anything to do with kids, because I really do frown on that, but, you know, if you want to, you know, talk to me, and if you need to talk to me, you feel you can talk to me, I am here, I am open, I am ready to listen, you know, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to turn people away, I'm not going to, tell people they can't be who they want to be and I'm certainly not gonna you know start throwing around the whole concept that white pride should be a thing no I mean like I said I do understand why they you know why white people may feel like that because obviously you know it's I think it's a case of they feel they're being left out because obviously like I said there's a black pride month there's a black history month there's a gay pride month they want to teach gay history in schools you know but you don't need it and that's the point i'm making we as white people we as straight white people do not need a pride month for being white or straight we don't need it now i know i've been saying a lot about being white and straight but you know i myself am not necessarily I'm more, I'm a pansexual, I don't care whether you're a man or a woman or a transgender or, you know, as far as I'm concerned, love is a connection. Love isn't necessarily about your gender or, you know, your lack of gender if you're non-binary or, you know, that isn't what creates an attraction for me, it's the person, it's the soul, it's the heart. So I can sit here and say, as a white pansexual woman, <laughs> that, you know, to the white straight people, you know, it's not a necessary thing. White pride is not a necessary thing. You know, look back in history, look at how much history is learned in schools and it's predominantly white. You know, take a walk down the street. Are you going to get attacked for being a white person or for being a straight white person? No you know, read up. If Even if you don't agree with, like, gay pride and anything like that, read up on the reasons why. 
these things exist, like gay pride, black pride. Read up on it. Even if it's just to educate yourself. Even if it's just to, you know, educate yourself on why these pride events exist. You know, I'm not asking you to read it and be happy with it. You know, read it and be happy with the whole gay thing if you're not into that. The LGBT thing if you're not into that. I'm just asking you to read it so you can understand a little bit about why these events happen and the reasons these events happen you know just that you can see why as a straight white person you don't need a pride you know i think i've rambled too much and my point may have gotten lost but you know i just i don't know as i said you know my i have a twitter you can dm me i you know i have comment sections open on my videos you can message me there you know I'm here for you guys. If you, you know, we're a, we're a relatively small channel right now. 36 subscribers. Don't quote me because I don't have it open. <laughs> Let me just check because I can check whilst I'm recording. Yeah, we're, oh, sorry, 34 subscribers. We're a small channel of 34 subscribers. You know, that's 34 people watching my videos. Possibly. <laughs> and, you know, we're a relatively small channel. But, you know, if, if I can help you, if I can answer questions for you, if I can ease any anxieties you may have, you know, please feel free to talk to me. But on that note, before I ramble too much and it just turns into me talking crap, <laughs> because we, we all know it's going to happen, <laughs> I am going to cut off here. But, you know please share this video around you know i don't know how educational it is i didn't have a script to read from i just spoke from my heart and how i feel but if you think this video might be able to help someone if you feel, think this video might do some good share it around like it you know but you know this is my contribution for pride month you know that everyone should be equal and it shouldn't matter who you are so yeah, I'm gonna end this video here and I hope that you're not put off by the fact that there's no video, it's just audio. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna hop off and I hope you guys have a really fantastic day and I hope that anyone who's celebrating Pride Month is having a good month and that, you know, you're having a safe time and that, you know, that you, that you know you're loved okay so yeah uh i'll see you all in the next video stay smart and happy pride <laughs>